Gareth, you mentioned Jaden Sancho there, and there isn't a day goes by where there isn't a report that he's being brought back to England, uh, Manchester United being mainly linked with him. How, how good is he and what's he like to work with? Well, he's, he's a very talented young player. Um, that, that's clear. Obviously, the Bundesliga has had a big profile at the moment because it's the only football that's been played that, that we're able to watch. So um, it's no surprise to us. Um, I think the interesting challenge is, you know, Bayern Munich are clearly the best team in that league. You've then got Leipzig and Dortmund who perform well. Um, but the gap then, as you work down the league, um, is, is an interesting one to compare to the Premier League. So the level not quite the same. I think the top teams, you know, the matches at Champions League level with where the English teams have played, those German teams have been a good a good challenge. I think the depth of the league isn't as strong. The, the finances aren't the same. You know, our smallest teams can compete with some historical big hitters around Europe like Ajax. You know, the smallest Premier League clubs can compete and, and over the last few years been able to sign uh, players for higher value than those clubs. So any step um, is going to be a challenge, but he's developing really well as a young player. If I look at his age, if I look at um, what his contribution is. Um, he's learning the game. Uh, he's slowly maturing. There's still bits that, that he's got to learn. Um, and he's got some fantastic role models in, in Raheem and Marcus Rashford to look at, not only in terms of how they play, um, but also the way they, their professionalism, their desire to be the best, their hunger. Um, they're brilliant role models for Jaden to be working with when he's with us. It feels like a million miles away football at this moment in time and talking about tactics. But obviously, I was at the last World Cup and it was a sensational performance. The team were brilliant. And you were playing with a five at the back and it looked like the team were really comfortable in there, particularly with the full-backs, the way in which they attacked. Did the change to four at the back come from the fact that you wanted to get more of the attacking talent that you've got at your disposal, the likes of Rashford, Sancho, Kane, hudson Adoy into the team? Or did it come from a defensive perspective? <laughs> A bit of both, really, Gary. Um, I think, you know, if I look back at a couple of the matches um, towards the end of the World Cup and then just after the World Cup where we were playing sort of 3-5-2, which becomes a five quite often, we were having some difficulty defensively. Um, you, you know the weakness of the system. The opposition fullbacks can cause you problems. So um, we felt that the, the switch... Um, we also felt that people like Harry Maguire had matured. You know, when he went into the World Cup, he only had four, I think, four caps. Um, he came out of the World Cup a different player with, with more confidence and we had more confidence in his ability at that level. So then when you looked at uh, Sterling, Rashford, Sancho, hudson Adoy coming through, you know, we're blessed with some incredibly exciting wingers and, and attacking players. So there's no doubt we had a mind on some of those coming through. You look at people like Mount and Foden who were coming through the system. Again, really exciting attacking midfield players. So um, definitely we want to get as many of those good players on the pitch as possible. Um, but I think we've also got to have some flexibility because we're, we've not got great depth at centre-back at the moment. Um, we've got tremendous depth at right-back. We're probably a little bit less depth at left-back. Um, so we've constantly got to see what's the best system for us to get our best players on the field, but also to make sure that we're, we're competitive with and without the ball. More right backs in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if we're relying on right backs to win us tournaments, we're in trouble. That's for certain. <laughs> Mind you, we've got one who might do that for us at the moment. So yeah, <laughs> yes, very true. 